Hello everybody, you guys are watching Brown Beauty Smart and welcome to my channel. You guys can see my son is here with me and we are in our kitchen. So we are cooking something. We are very excited for today's video. You guys can see this gigantic box from HelloFresh. Yeah. Friends, you guys know cooking is so popular on my channel. Yeah, we are always cooking. Cooking is so popular in my mom's channel. <laughs> oh yeah, we always cooking at home. This is perfect meal service for those people who are who, who have no idea about kitchen. Like they are not good at cooking yeah. they can cook so i want my husband to help me cook this meal so we can prove that that's right then we can have a little break yes and we're gonna take a little break so today's video is sponsored by hello fresh hello canada's fresh. most popular oh, meal yes. delivery service Good. for those who don't know what hello fresh is hello fresh is meal delivery service uh, they provide you pre-measured pre-packed ingredients for perfect recipe on your doorstep uh, you don't have to worry to go to different stores to get all the ingredients and yeah, by so this way you want anywhere to get the ingredients. Yes. Just, hello fresh you can have they have so much ingredients. Yeah, they have all the ingredients for perfect recipe. And the very best thing about this pre-measured is uh, you are not wasting any food. I'm that person who really hates to waste food. Yeah. By using this kind of service, you are not wasting any food because it's pre-measured. So all good for like good for family of two, four, and depends on you. All right, how HelloFresh works is they create wholesome recipes every week. There is a wide range of variety to choose from. I think they have 22 different recipes every week. So they have different cuisines and they are specific for vegan people, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. We are a chicken and fish family. So yeah. these meals are perfect for us. You guys can choose your favorite ingredients, your favorite recipes and this way you guys are gonna eat something new every day. You don't have to repeat all the boring dinners. A little exciting, not eating same food every day. In this COVID situation, you don't have to visit different stores and get all the ingredients. It's very convenient, very safe. The other very good thing is you cook meal from scratch. You, you know the feeling of cooking from scratch is very good. You feel very nice when you eat your cooked meal. Like Himmat loves mommy cooked meals. Right Mimi? So I hope I'm making sense to you guys. Also offers grill recipes all summer long. So you guys can enjoy your barbecue party. So they're very flexible, very easy to manage delivery dates and even ship weeks at a time. And if you want to sp skip some weeks, you guys can do that. Very easy to do. But before unboxing, I'm gonna tell you very exciting news. There is a $80 off coupon code in the description box. You guys can go and click there and save $80 on your first order plus free shipping you guys gonna really enjoy this I bet you guys gonna love this delivery yeah. now it's time to do the unboxing Whoa, I see some and this box is very nice and cool okay the very first thing I saw is this welcome to fresh family so we're gonna be a hello fresh family now so we have three different recipes in here the first one is warm Mexican bean bowl we love Mexican food yeah. so it looks very exciting I think we're gonna cook this yeah. The second one is fajita style chicken bowl. We Each of us both done it. And the last but not the least is lemon chicken and goat cheese. Very excited to try this because it's with uh, peers. So they have uh, packed all the food separately. So very easy and convenient. Oh, it's so nice and cool Mimi. There is an ice pack. Now I have the chicken legs. Mmm, chicken legs are my favorite. So the chicken uh, is 100% Canadian, air chilled and raised without antibiotics because this kind of chicken is also expensive outside so uh, that's very impressive that they are using good ingredients. So the chicken is here. Alright friends, so we're gonna call our guest number two who's gonna help us cooking. Please, dummy guy come. Alright, so we're gonna start with our first recipe. These are the all ingredients we're gonna use for this recipe. And uh, we are starting with rice first because rice gonna take a long time to cook and I am gonna wash my rice thoroughly and we're gonna put that in the pan actually I'm cooking my rice in a pressure cooker so it won't take that long so it's time to wash the vegetables nicely and also I'm washing the chicken and drying that with paper towel because you say with me the beautiful 
simple signs of a story so far. And then I'm gonna start the chopping. I'm chopping the garlic and the peppers and also the spring onion nicely sliced and all right so what i did is add salt and pepper in the chicken thigh also the garlic i chopped them and uh, adding half of the Mexican don't say season. i we we okay we are doing everything together when i'm standing here then make sure I'm including you. You include my physical presence or my efforts. Okay. So we are gonna add half of the Mexican seasoning to the chicken thigh. Babe, we should add more masala. We are gonna add some later too. Okay. Hey babe. What? Add more masala. <laughs> Why are you showing so much love to me now? So you can pour a glass of wine for yourself. You enjoy drinking better than cooking. Prep While drinking and, and cooking, they go side by side. Hey, babe. Ayar, control. <laughs> babe, is it good? You make a nickel, you make a nickel, you make a nickel. Babe, babe, you make a nickel. Is it good, babe? Yes, baby. Maggie, come on. Yes, babe. It's good. Yeah, baby, it's awesome, babe. Baby, you're doing great. All right, now you have to put this a lemon zest. So. Babe, you want me to mix it? Wait, babe. Salt and little pepper. And babe, I can't put... wait to mix it. Okay, now you can mix it. We were in cooking school. We used to use this yes thing all the time. Lemon yes, orange yes. Babe, I can't wait to eat. Stop being fake, okay? Go. So once we're done with everything, it's time to cook the chicken. I am gonna cook the chicken in the pan first and then in the oven. In the pan, I add around two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna cook our chicken thigh in the pan for around three minutes each side once it's nicely done. All right, so we are cooking fajita chicken right now. My husband's helping me and it's smelling delicious already. I'm gonna transfer this on the baking tray and also on the baking sheet because I don't want it to stick to the tray. So we're gonna put that in the oven for 12 minutes on the heat of 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the other side, we're gonna start cooking our veggies and our rice is also ready. To eat and for veggies I'm using the same pan adding the peppers into the pan once I'm gonna toss this for a minute and or so then I'm gonna add the garlic and the Mexican leftover seasoning and also the corns mix it well once it's nice and crisp like of your choice if you like uh, them well cooked you guys can do that but I like my peppers to be crispy not the mushy so once it's done I'm gonna take that out in the plate In the same pan, now I'm gonna add the rice for more flavor. Mixing the rice, adding the uh, spring onion. Uh, once my rice is nicely coated with the pan flavors, I'm gonna add uh, all the cooked veggies. And you guys can season your rice like salt and pepper if you like, but we are not very big fan of, you know, too much salt. So uh, it's time to serve. Everything is ready. I'm gonna plate that rice. And then I, my chicken's also ready. I'm gonna slice the chicken, adding the chicken on the plate and tomato. And we're gonna serve this with a little bit of sour cream and lime. Let's see how it is. All right, so our meal is done. I prepared this for Himmat, just a plain rice and chicken. So Himmat gonna do a taste test for us. And this is my husband's meal. I'm gonna try from this. Sir, this is for you, sir. Try, sir. <laughs> who is this? It's yours, sir. No, he said who cooked it? Uh, me, me, me. Let your hand and who cooked it. Let your hand and don't who didn't cook it. Hey, I said, then, then, hmm. Sir, how is it? It's pretty strong, but good. <laughs> 
Yes, uh, so he's testing ours as well. Okay, sir, please test, sir. No, it's a good. You like it. Who's the oh, winner? I think. Okay, friends, so it's time for me to taste. I want to taste a little bit. I don't know, for some reasons, I'm not feeling very hungry, but I am going to try this. Mmm. It's really good. I was thinking, like, I'm not hungry, but it just increased my appetite. I'm yeah, feeling it's hungry really now. Like, I cook Mexican, but the flavor is really different. What mm. do you say? Different than mine. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Unique. Hena bol jab mai cook kar diya. Different flavor ah. Hena? Because of the spice. It feels like something else. Someone else cooked it. Hmm. So refreshing. I really like it. So ya apne liye paro mai khana lagya. We forgot to put the cheese because we are not a big fan of cheese. So now we're gonna prepare our recipe number two. These are all the ingredients we're gonna use for this recipe. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. And you know I'm always fucking broke. It's better than being alone. Here again, I'm starting my preparation with putting the rice on the stove for cooking, and then I'm gonna prepare my vegetables and also avocado because we are preparing a guac in a little while. And then I'm opening the cans of beans and draining the excess water and washing it and putting in a strainer. And then now we're gonna prepare our guacamole. I love guac so much, and I'm gonna mash the avocados, adding tomatoes, cilantro, salt and pepper, and lime, mixing it well. You guys can add green chilies as well. I love green chili in my guac. So ready? I'm gonna take out the sour cream, adding the salt and pepper, and a little bit of lime zest, and mixing it well. Oh, uh, on the other side, we're gonna start preparing our beans. I'm taking a pan, adding around two tablespoons of olive oil, adding an onion. Once onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add garlic and red peppers. Mix it well. Still smell you on my bed sheets. Feels like 52 weeks alone. Once my pepper is nice and crisp, I'm gonna add is the Mexican seasoning. Again, mixing it well. It was never by your friends who didn't like me. Adding the beans and also the vegetarian broth. You guys can also add water if you want nicely cooked beans. Your beans are ready, your rice is ready. I'm gonna fluff my rice with fork, adding a little bit of cilantro on my rice as well. It's time to serve and enjoy my delicious meal. So this is my lunch time and uh, I prepared this delicious meal that you guys already have seen and there's this little girl. Alright, so time to taste. Mama, be careful, it's spicy. Yeah, it's hot. Mm. It's so good. I think I'm gonna eat one more bowl. Mm -hmm. I love it. So refreshing. Perfect lunch. It's time for recipe number three. I'm very excited for this delicious chicken salad recipe. We, these are all the ingredients we're gonna use for this recipe. We're gonna start with peeling our potatoes. Actually, I'm not gonna peel them very nicely because I like skin on my potatoes. I'm cutting them in a cube size. Once it's done, I'm gonna transfer them on a baking tray and also on the baking sheet. Salt, pepper, season them with salt, pepper and a little bit of oil, mixing it well and putting that in oven for around 12 minutes and the heat is 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Once my potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna slice the pears. And then I'm gonna season the chicken breast with salt and pepper and home style seasoning. Slow. 
and it's time to cook the chicken breast chicken breast won't take too long and in the pan a little bit oil and cooking the chicken breast On the other side, we're gonna start preparing our dressing. For that, I'm using is a lemon juice and the mustard seasoning from the recipe, and sugar. Also, four teaspoons of olive oil, little bit of salt, pepper. Mixing it well, the dressing is ready. And our in the small pan, I'm also gonna roast the walnuts. Uh, you don't have to add any oil, just on the heat. You just have to roast a little, but keep an eye, don't burn them. Potatoes are ready. I take the potatoes out in the bowl and mixing them with. Pears. and I'm gonna add some dressing into the pears and potato mixture once it's nice and tossed I am preparing a plate adding my greens into the plate and then potato and pears and then chicken and I'm gonna sprinkle some walnuts and then I'm gonna drizzle some dressing and last but not the least is this goat cheese and we are done this was very delicious chicken salad I really loved it so that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give this video a huge big thumbs up and do not forget to click the link in the description box for $80 off on your first purchase with free shipping. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you in my next one. Do not forget guys, you're beautiful the way you are. Stay happy, confident and strong. We guys can do any freaking thing. All you have to do is think about it and take action. That's it. Easy, easy, easy. Bye. Lalu.